What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. Today we are doing a what the truck on my 1970 Ford F350 Custom and uh, this thing is pretty freaking cool. So let me show it to you guys. So if uh, you guys aren't sure what you're looking at, this is a 1970 Ford F350 crew cab. It's an original truck, 125,000 miles. It's had three owners, including myself. And uh, I picked this thing up out of Dallas, Texas. It's where it's lived its entire life. And uh, it's just a really cool old truck. So I figured it's a good time to uh, start showing you guys a little bit more of my trucks and um, I figured if we do a what the truck with each of my trucks then as things progress we could always come back to this video and you guys could see hey this is how it used to look this is what it used to be so uh, starting here on the front the truck has this awesome safeguard bumper this is actually the reason why I even found this truck I told one of my buddies in Texas to keep an eye out for some uh, cattle guards and uh, he came across this truck and was like hey check out that bumper and I'm like the bumper is cool but the trucks even cooler what's up with that and uh, long story short we ended up with the truck so uh, let's pop the hood here we go so under the hood, we have a 390, which is considered a big block FE motor. It's got air conditioning. It's got some uh, cool guy options. Um, looks like this was for windshield wiper. And uh, he's got his oil overflow thing. That's pretty cool. And this truck is so quiet. Let me, uh, let me give it a start up. You guys can hear for yourself. Boom. It's like a sewing machine. The loudest part of the whole thing is the AC compressor, which is pretty funny. You know, just a nice, good, healthy sound in V8. Nothing too out of the ordinary. And uh, now, I'll show you guys this beautiful interior. Let's get her turned off. So, the truck is a custom, and uh, custom meant that it was a low level, but you were able to order any options you wanted. So this thing actually has the Ranger door panels, and I've not seen a lot of crew cabs with the Ranger door panels, and it's pretty cool. You could see they literally just cut the front door panels and put this little edge on it and same thing here this is actually still sharp it's pretty cool and uh yeah we're already in the back so it's got the original vinyl seat it's in good condition it's got all the seat belts slider rear window and then something that i thought was cool about this particular truck was the amount of lights well i guess the truck's off now but it's got so many lights over here over here, this is an auxiliary switch for fuel. We've got a speaker system, even more lights. I mean, look at this thing. He's got all kinds of hooks for clothing. Man, this thing is cool. Headliner's in perfect condition. And then check out this front dashboard. Steering wheel looks great. It's got 125,191 miles on it. It's got the Customatic custom air conditioning from Fort Worth, Texas. That's pretty cool. I love that tissue box holder. And then it's got a retro sound radio. And uh, that's a lot of it. 
you guys could hear just how crispy. I love that. I don't know why, that just does something for me every single time. But yeah, this is just a good old truck. So my plan with this, so you guys could see it. So the truck right now runs and drives great. There's nothing wrong with it. It does need a paint job. So in 1992, the original owner didn't like that it was starting to patina, so he repainted it with a clear coat, but the clear coat is peeling. So I'm actually gonna have my buddy Rome out here, the one who detailed Snickers. We're gonna see if maybe we could wet sand the clear coat and uh, get it to shine. If not, this might need a full paint job. Um, but some of the thoughts that I have for this is uh, super duty axles front and rear. So we make it a four by four and then uh, we do like some 18 inch Detroits on some 35s, maybe like a Godzilla or a six, seven power stroke or something. Get the interior freshened up. Um, and by interior, I just mean the bench seats. I like the door panels. I think that it needs a new bench seats or these get recovered. You could see. Uh, the carpet starting to fray, just original carpet, needs a new one. The headliner's great, the dash pad's great, the door panels are great. And uh, I think maybe the topper needs to come off. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, the truck doesn't have too many character flaws or anything wrong with it. So it's literally just upgrading it. Probably when we lift it, I'll do the amp step brackets that I just did on Gold Dust and uh it should be pretty cool something that i didn't show you guys yet was all of the uh paperwork and documentation that i got with this truck and i think that's actually one of the coolest parts so let me get all this stuff organized and uh, pick you guys back up all right guys so now check out all of this stuff that it comes with so 1970 shop truck manuals all four of them you got maps from the Dallas Fort Worth area where the truck's from all the aftermarket stuff when he repainted it Norway green in 1991 that's the exact color they used DuPont and uh, when he put his cruise control he's got all the paperwork for that his alignment settings what is even cooler is this truck was owned since new by Charles Miller so here is the 1970 Texas registration and we've got every single registration from 1970 to 2022. We have the original Ford catalog from 1970. This is just the coolest thing ever that the guy actually kept all of this stuff and kept it with the truck. Don't know why. Can't turn the page all of a sudden. So rad. We got the original powertrain warranty card. You got the owner warranty card. You got the buck tag that goes under the hood. And then this is so cool. So this is the gas recorder up through 1988. So the first time that this truck ever had fuel put into it, it was on June 28th, 1970. Oh, we got some wind, hold on. And check that out just so freaking cool oh the wind's getting me let me pack some stuff up all right a little bit of wind ain't stopping nothing so as you guys could see every time he fueled it up june 28th first time 16 and a half gallons total july 1st put 10 gallons to 30 put 15 and then the miles 16 203 441 and every single thing is logged up until 88 and then we've got other books um, to continue going which is super super cool and then also parts so he had all the parts to work on it so we got extra brakes I don't even know I mean you got a starter in here we got some weather stripping we got more stuff uh, fuse panel it looks like wiring instructions we got oil filters here we got Cruise control module, turn signals, U-joints, power steering parts, carves, coil parts. I mean, 
this guy had a little bit of everything and uh, so one of the things that I understood and I could actually even show it to you guys because it's right here on the front bumper is this truck was owned and always worked at the Carswell Air Force Base in uh, in Texas so this was owned by Sergeant Miller and uh, that's just how it was the dude was a military man wanted to keep his truck in order and uh, he did a great job of it the trucks gorgeous so I'm curious to hear what you guys think we should do to it in the comment section below let me know if this was your truck what are some upgrades that you'd like to see and uh, do you like this style do you want me to talk more about my trucks and do more videos like this let me know below if you're not already subscribe to the channel hit the likes and uh, we'll catch you in the next video